Oh, hi, we're here. So, you know, walk around the town and get our food, right? We got some Italian food first. Food comes first. So they have it by decade. There's like the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, and there's the 60s. And on each of the tags, they say what year it's from. Gowns, bags. This is from the 40s. There's some fun dresses. So we have a bunch of things that I'm going to try on and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> These are literally rocks. This is from, I think, the 60s. Or the 70s. I have to look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so this is the one that I thought that we might be able to use for the video. It's from the 60s. It's kind of big. <laughs> what do you think? Because like, yeah. I feel like you can wear this with a belt. Yeah, no, that one looks good. Definitely. For, for the video or just in general? Mm, I mean, either. Because, like, I could always take it in on the sides with my sewing machine. I hate it. This yeah. is from the 60s. This is, like, painful. Like, it fits, but it's, like, they definitely suffered. Yeah, this is a no. I don't even think I can fix this. It's, it's rough. I feel that some people will love it. Just not me. I don't know. I don't like this one. I'm trying to knock people that like it. That I did. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Isn't this funny? It's like a... Uh, I look like a pink flight attendant. Yeah. I, I don't think I would do anything with this though. That's the thing. But mm. I love it. it. doesn't tell me what year it's from. 80s? 60s? Who knows? Make sure you're clicking this one. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, we're learning. Hmm. It'll do it. I think I'm gonna get this one. At this point, you're just gonna buy them all and just wear them. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, this cute. is the best one, right? Yeah. Wow. And the earrings go with it. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna try the other one. Mm-hmm. Can't zip it all the way. It's so fat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This one. And it's $54, which is shocking. I feel like this was really scandalous in the 20s. Like the... You just probably had to be rich. Yeah. Yeah. But you also had the really big boobs, apparently. Just, oh, just, yeah. The knockers needed to be more. <laughs> I feel like I have a dress that looks like this actually already, so... Mm -hmm. This is a... Uh, Not like my grandma. Mothballs and death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? It's dark. And the thing is, this you could probably do something with because it like fully opens. Like this is a wrap. So this is really one giant piece of fabric. So the potential here is endless. Go for it. So my immediate thought is no. Why don't you do what was the pink one in the first one? The other flower print. Yeah. Yeah, this one was a good one. Yeah, those are the two ones fix. you probably got. But this one was like a simple fix. This is going to be like a dramatic fix. I mean, if you want to do it, go for it, then. No, I don't think this is the one. This is not the one. <laughs> oh my god. This is dramatic. This looks terrifying. Is this a nightgown? What did I say? This was 70s? It was 70s. Yeah, it looks like a nightgown. It's like 40-ish dollars. Okay, hear me out. We cut this peplum. Like a peplum shirt. And then we cut the sleeves like around here. Or we bring them up as a shirt. Or you can bring it up. 
Yeah. I think this is the one. Because mm-hmm. this is crazy, and I think we can do something with it. Okay. This is like a dramatic change, you know? Yeah. Because right now I'm a little confused and concerned what I might do, but I think that something can be done. And also, it's so bad, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to feel guilty for chopping it. This, literally, this looks like from a horror movie. Like, I look like an old woman standing in a window. It's, like, horrifying. And I love the pattern on this, too. I love the flowers and the color. Mm-hmm. So, let's see what we can do with this. <laughs> Guess what? They're having a BOGO sale. That means buy one, get one. 50% off. So, really, by spending more, we're saving. Right? <laughs> you, can, you can access that. So this is the dress that I went with. It's the 1970s dress that we showed right at the end. Um, I think it was a nightgown. It looks pretty gross. I don't know many people that would just wear this casually in public right now. Um, but the fabric is really nice. The pattern's really good. And I think there's a lot of potential here. Um, the one thing I absolutely hate is this part. So I think I'm just gonna actually disconnect this part when I'm sewing. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do right now is make it into a crop top with a long skirt. It would be like a peplum crop top. I would like, I'm thinking I'm gonna cut it like right here and it will like kind of stick out a little bit. Um, and then I like the sleeves a lot. I really love the ruffle at the end, the way that's that falls, but I don't know if I really like it so much as a long sleeve. So what I think I'm gonna do is disconnect it and then reconnect up here to kind of make it like a short sleeve kind of thing. So I think we have a lot of potential here. I'm gonna take everything apart, sew it back together. I'll show you the whole process and we'll see what we come up with. So the first thing I decided to take off was the ruffle and that ribbon. And then I'm also going to remove the sleeves and make them into short sleeves. And then to take out the stitches, I used a standard seam ripper. It took a little bit of time. <laughs> it was the sped up process. So I removed the ruffle, and I accidentally kind of messed up the button, uh, so I'll re-sew that later in the video. And then I have to stitch back together uh, the neck lining. And then I just picked off the extra thread. It then came time to cut the crop top. Um, I opened the whole dress, unbuttoned the whole thing, and realized that it would be very difficult to cut it straight across unless I had some help. So my mom and my sister stretched out the elastic really far while I cut right above the pocket line. Um, so uh, we've cut this off of the skirt and I've hemmed around. I'm gonna sew around now. I had to take the needles off because I ran out of needles, but this is also gonna be sewn around. I just didn't do it yet. My sister's modeling for me. I haven't done anything with the sleeves yet. <laughs> so this in. Susan Collins. I have quite the range, actually, of reading. John Green. Schleigermacher. Dash and Lily's Book of Adventures. Her diaries. <gasps> Martin Dares. Bubat. Wait, did you just say... What did you say? Dash and Lily's Book of Adventures. Where do I have that? I know I read that, but... Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, about that. I'm pretty sure that's the same one that wrote Nick and Norris. Yeah, that's playlist. the same Nick and Norris. Yeah. I'm not sure if I read Nick and Norris. I, I think I just movie. like Michael Sarah, and he was wide range here. <laughs> Scott Westerfield. Oh my God, the pretties. And uh, Catch on Jenny Han, and then Taylor Swift. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of the YA genre. What you? Yeah, no, you're no, the, my you're the real YA like connoisseur. With it. I'm a development of Western civilization connoisseur. Connoisseur. <laughs> you look crazy. Mostly from my college, not by choice. For all the haters out there. Ooh, I think this is gonna look okay. Look at it. Nice. What's the bottom of this shirt? Let's see how short it is on my uh, giraffe body. <laughs> if it doesn't fit me because I'm a giraffe, <laughs> I belong in the plains of Africa. Um, we're gonna have Alina try it on because she's a shorter giraffe. Yeah. More like a um. I'm a baby giraffe. Meaning not a giraffe at all. <laughs> the, the baby dinosaur from all the land before time. That's funny. <laughs> That's Alina. I'd be offended, but it's cute, so I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, it was cute. Who is that? I'm just looking for cups because we're out of cups. <laughs> uh, the Lion King was my. I returned all my cups yesterday. I love that thing. So I've sewn 
Ooh, that's coming out, okay. I've sewn around the neck, you can see, around this, so it's a nice clean sew. And I've sewn around the bottoms. The only thing that I want to do now is go around with a um, zigzag stitch, I don't know what it's really called, but a zigzag stitch around the bottom and then cut off the extra fabric. All right, so this is what we have so far. I've done the edge of the crop top and I've sewn this. I've taken off the ruffles. Um, the next thing I want to do is the sleeves. And then we're going to take this. We're going to start working on the skirt. No, I don't want to be in this. No, I, my hair is horrible. Stand here. I'm not in this. This is Stop literally two, two of us. I could literally make two skirts out of this. Why not? We could be matching. Yeah, that's true. Should I? I really liked the buttons. That's the thing. Yeah, I like the buttons. I wanted the buttons to go in the center. Them. We're going to fit the skirt. We're like the same size, so it doesn't matter. <gasps> Shit, did that hit you? Yeah, that hit me. <laughs> oh my god. Ow! Please. I'm sorry. I can't believe I hit you. Are yeah, you I okay? told you that they were bent. Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't think I'm bleeding. I think it was a, I don't think you're bleeding. It was a light hit. A light hit? Is that what we call it these days? This. There's a like a line down here, so what I want to do is take in the wall of this seam. Stop doing that. Okay, sorry, it's okay. annoying shit. Hear me out. <laughs> you're not gonna wanna listen to this one. <laughs> What if we didn't have pockets? There's people watching on their phones screaming and they're saying, <laughs> no, keep the damn pockets. And I'm hearing yeah, you <laughs> and you're keeping the pockets. Uh, I said it's a sewing challenge, but boy, did I underestimate how challenged. I'm in danger. <laughs> you're an idiot. She keeps doing this. Every 10 minutes she goes, ah, I think you stabbed me. Clingy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like Joe Biden. <laughs> Can you hold it so it's lifted up a little bit? What if we made it a little shorter? <laughs> Please! Come on! I'm gonna be. I'm coughing! I got scared when I stabbed you and I breathed in some moist pit. That's why I can't breathe. What kind of torture room is this? <laughs> I'm literally gonna pee. I'm just gonna sew around this whole thing and then we're gonna take- Alright, so what I'm doing here is just sewing down the three seams of the skirt. I think I'm just gonna actually do a dart on both sides so then I'll still have the flowiness on the bottom but it'll be fitted on the top and it'll probably just hang like around here and I think that'll be perfect with the crop top. So. So this is the final skirt, um, high-waisted, has a little bit of a dart, so it comes out at the ends. Yeah, so you could wear this with the top that I made, or you have the short sleeves sewn in. I really like how they turned out. Um, and I have the crop top, and I have this with a clean line, and then I also made this a fitted skirt, and I put some darts in it, so we still have the flowiness on the bottom. And you could also wear these separately. Yeah. It's, it's like a modern take on the 70s outfit, which is exactly what I was going for. An 8.3. Honestly, an 8.3. Well, well, I'm being I'm being a harsh grader. Oh, I'm being really harsh. I'm being a harsh grader. But also, um, it doesn't even look as good in camera as it does in person. In person, it doesn't, it, really. in person, it looks like a thousand times better. I'm kind of happy with this, though. I think I'd probably score myself maybe like an 8.5 or a 9. The only thing that I'm a little... Um, would fix or I'm a little annoyed about is this front part just because it's not it doesn't have a zipper in the back and this isn't really a stretchy material so I think if I was going to edit anything about this it would definitely be sewing this thing closed and then putting a zipper in the back so for that reason 8.5 maybe a 9 I'll do 8.75 out of 10. So this is the final look uh, you have the before on the left and the after on the right Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it.